commercial fishing operation is an example where optimal control may be applied to optimize the supply of fish and the economics of the fishing industry. So let's go through this problem. This is a standard problem that's found in textbooks. There's a commercial fishing optimal control problem that has an integral objective function. Now this integral right here is the economics. It's basically trying to maximize the profit by adjusting the amount that you fish. And this profit function here is relates to uh, how much fish you're going to be pulling out and uh, being able to sell minus the operational costs of doing business. So we have a 10 year time period. Let's well, suppose we have a commercial uh, vessel that we've purchased and we want to maximize the amount of profit over the 10 year time period. And uh, you know, we don't want to overfish initially because it uh, can lead to a reduced fish population later. So those fish need to repopulate. And uh, we also have resources that we use to uh, conduct the fishing. So there's a cost associated with that. Okay, so we want to find the optimal amount of fishing that we're going to conduct to maximize the profit um, of, our, of our system. Okay, so there's a simple differential equation right here that relates to the population of the fish. So if we uh, fish more, the population is going to go down. The derivative is going to go down. If we fish less, it's going to allow the, that population to recover. Okay, so this is going to be then positive and it will, this relates to the growth of the fish over the season. And uh, we have an initial fish population. We'll just say that's equal to 70. And the amount of fishing that we can do is between 0 and 1. Maybe that's the amount of time, you know, a fraction of the time that we're out fishing during the year. Now we also have some constants here that we're going to include in our problem. We have uh, just E, C, R, K, and U max. Those are just going to be constant. They're going to be fixed. Now let's say you had some data about the fishing population. Maybe you'd come in here and actually estimate those parameters to be able to update this uh, system equation right there of the fish population. Okay, so we're going to reformulate this objective function here uh, into our standard form for optimization by defining a new variable j. And then we can differentiate this. Okay, so that's going to be dj dt is going to be equal to e minus c over x times u times u max. Okay, if we differentiate both sides then the integral goes away and we're just left with dj dt. And that's part of our, that's going to be our differential and algebraic equation form that we're going to use and then we'll just maximize uh, the j at the final time Okay, so we've reformulated this problem into one where we're just maximizing that objective at the final time subject to our standard fish population balance equation. And then we also have our derivative of our objective. And then a couple others here. This is a new one. The initial integral is going to be equal to zero. So that's our profit function is going to be equal to zero at time zero. And then we're going to evaluate that objective at time 10 years. Okay, so there's our final time. Okay, so uh, the other thing we need to be aware of is that we're maximizing that objective function. And most optimization solvers require an objective function that you're minimizing. Now that's not a problem. You can just multiply by negative one and that converts a maximization problem into a minimization problem. Okay, so let's go through how to set this up and solve it. There's going to be some solutions there in MATLAB and Python that you can select. I'll show you the link uh, for the source code. So I'm just going to scroll back up. It was right here at the top. And let me just go to that and show you this. 
Okay, so here is the solution. If you just come down here to the bottom, you can download uh, the source in MATLAB and Python. And then I'll also include the Gecko source code here as well. So we're going to go through the Python Gecko source. And so let's just walk through that. I'm just going to let this type it for me, and then I'll explain it. Okay, so we're first of all just going to import uh, some packages here. Okay, it's going to be Gecko and NumPy. And let me just put this over here. Matplotlib is going to be for plotting. And I'll also open up this. Okay, next we're going to create a Gecko model. Uh, I think we're need to move that over. I just want to be able to show the equations as we go through. So there's our Gecko model. And then we have some time points that we want to solve this at. Okay, and we have uh, 0 to 10 years with 501 uh, or 500 time points. We have our constants as well that we had from our originally defined problem. Okay, and actually let me scroll down here to on the right to this modified one that we have. Okay, so here's our fishing rate. That's going to be a manipulated variable. Okay, so that's going to be able to change at all of these time intervals from 0 to 10 years. Okay, and that's going to be our fishing rate. We have a status 1, which means optimize, and then decost 0. No cost of movement of that. Okay, next we have our fishing population. Initial condition equals 70. And then we're also going to um, do our fish balance equation. It's going to be this one right here. Okay, and we're just going to put that in the x dot dt uh, parentheses. That's going to be our differential right here. Okay, and next we have our objective. Okay, and we have that initially equal to zero. And that, now I'm also going to define a final objective. And I'll define that as an FB. That's just going to be one value over the whole time horizon. And the status is going to be equal to one, meaning that we're going to calculate that. Okay, and then we have a connection here as well in Gecko. We're going to connect our final to the end position of uh, J. Okay, so we're going to connect those two so that we can optimize uh, J, F. There's our differential equation for the profit, and then we're going to maximize the profit by minimizing the negative profit. I mode 6 is optimal control mode. So that's going to optimize over a dynamic horizon. Nodes equals 3 means the number of collocation nodes that we're going to use. The more nodes you use, the more accurate it is. It can go between 2 and 6. And then our solver is equal to 3, which is the IPOP solver. Now that is a uh, interior point solver available. Um, there's also other solvers uh, available as well. Okay, so we're going to solve the optimization problem with m.solve. If you want to solve it locally without the internet connection, just do remote equals false there. And then we're going to print our profit. Okay, so there's our optimal profit. We're just going to print uh, JF value. Okay, and then we're going to plot the results. So uh, this is just creating a plot just to show the solution. And we're going to create a couple of subplots here. Okay, and let me just show what this is going to look like as we're creating the plot. Okay, and then I'll also show it running as well. So we're going to have our first subplot. We're going to have a red one for our objective. And we're going to show that building over the 10-year horizon. And then we'll also make a, just a point at the very end that's going to be you know, marker size 10. We're going to make it kind of big. And we're just going to get the final time and the JF value, the objective function final value. Okay, and then also put a label there and with our final profit number. So I'm going to put that in the, in the legend. And then the final one is just going to be a blue, which uh, is going to be a fish population. Okay, so we're going to see the fish population and what it does over time. And then we're going to put a Y label. Okay, and then our legend. And I'll talk about this solution a little bit after uh, we run it in Gecko and show how to optimize it. Okay, next I want to have my fishing rate there, and that's just going to be uh, black. Um, 
line with some dots on there for the incremental, you know, the 501 time points that I selected. Okay, and then I put my time in years. And the final thing is I'll add the legend. Okay, and you could also do LOC equals uh, best to put that in a best spot. But, um, and then we'll show the, um, show the plot. Okay, so I'm going to save this. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll go and run it. So I'm going to not run it in Notepad++ even though I edited it here. Okay, what I'll do is go over here and I guess we can close this one now as well. Okay, so we have phishing.py and I'll do this with IDLE. You can also run this in other editors such as PyCharm or um, you know, Spider or uh, IPython Notebook. Okay, and then when I run it, I'm going to get an error because uh, I don't have Gecko installed, so no module named Gecko. So let's just open up a command prompt and install that. So you can do pip install uh, Gecko. That's one way to do it, and it'll install Gecko for you. Okay, so it's going to collect it, download it, and then install it. Or you can do pip. I'll do this un install gecko I want to show you how to um, and select yes to uninstall it okay so I installed it installed it uninstalled it I want to show you how you can do this from a Python script as well okay so what you can do is just do um, import pip and then pip dot main and we'll do install and gecko Okay, so there's another way to install Gecko directly from a Python script. So you could have put those two commands in the top of your phishing.py file as well. Okay, so now it's installed. Um, let's go back to run and run module. Okay, and this is going to run. It says, uh, let's see, no module named Flask. Hmm, interesting. I haven't seen that one before. Okay, let me try to do flask as well. Okay, so I'm going to pip install flask. Must be one of the dependencies of... Um, okay. And we're going to go ahead and install those. And uh, this looks like a recent upgrade to Gecko where there's some GUI backend uh, things that are also added to it. So there's a couple of additional... Uh, dependencies. Okay, so let's go ahead and do edit with IDLE and I'll run that. Okay, so here is the phishing module and there it's going to solve with IPopt and then you see the solution. So the optimal profit is 106.9, that's the final at the very end. And let's just go into, um, back to our solution. We'll just talk about this a little bit. Okay, so at the beginning, we started off with a population of 70 right here. And uh, we're going to put our fishing rate at a maximum. So the, the fish population is going to drop. And it's going to drop to about 50 or so. Okay, and that looks like a sustainable population. We've, uh, you know, balanced the economics of how much it costs to fish, uh, how much the fish can reproduce each year uh, for a good catch the following year. And as a result, our fishing intensity rate goes down to, you know, just below 0.7. And then at the end, uh, in the final three years, um, you know, we go back up to a maximum again. Now that's understanding that the business is going to close at 10 years. And so there's less concern now for the fish population. So we're going to drop that. It doesn't drop to zero, but it, it gets lower. So this is kind of the dangers of economic optimization. You may lose sustainability of the resource that you're, tr that you're exploiting. 
Um, so I'd suggest if you had a business that was looking long term that you would maintain it at about uh, the levels that you saw around six years uh, and then you would sustain the fish population in order to maximize the profit revenue and have a sustainable fish population in the long term. Okay, so that is the uh, solution to this. Again, I'll post the solution online.